Okay, here we are, and the pantograph has been restored. Um, I had to relearn how I made this uh, 20, 25 years ago. And uh, one of these metal loops had to go through uh, this joint here so as to lock it in place. And now it pretty much, you know, it does not slip out. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's not really a bad job gotta say it's kind of interesting and um i mean i don't like i could see how i made it i have to go get wires of course i could fix the um i could fix this a little bit make a better pantograph um slide but um the actual mechanism is not too bad and considering i don't have a spring on it it's got its own kind of tension you know so, uh, I could put springs and try to make it more prototypical, but you know what? This is good enough for now. My suggestion, though, is if you can get a, um, a pre-manufactured one, get it. Because, man, this is hard. Maybe some of you guys have better ideas out there. Let me know. But you know what? It, it kind of strikes the, uh, the pose. You know, of the mighty GG1's pantograph. So thanks so much for uh, observing and paying attention and helping me along. And thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye for now.